Welcome to Goa, on the southwest coast of India. It's the smallest state by area, but with a population of 1.8 million. In the 16th century, it was a province of Portugal. This was up until the 1960s, but you can still see plenty of Mediterranean influences and historical landmarks. A good example of this is Fort Aguada. Built by the Portuguese in the 17th century, it was used as a form of defence and also housed a valuable freshwater spring. Capable of storing up to 2.3 million gallons, it was one of the biggest in Asia at the time. This is also where it gained its name. Aguada simply means water. Visiting here is free and it can provide beautiful panoramic views of the Arabian Sea. It's a lengthy uphill walk from Kandalim. We advise taking a tuk-tuk to and from the fort. We paid 500 rupees for a return trip, which took around 20 minutes each way. Goa as a holiday destination can be very relaxing with a chilled out attitude. The only thing that isn't quite as chilled out is the traffic. If you're feeling brave and you've got the desire, you can hire mopeds and motorbikes. They're readily available. It's easy enough to escape the hustle and bustle of the main towns by visiting one of Goa's many beaches. Plenty of choice as Goa has 105 kilometers of coastline. On our trip, we visited Kandilim, Kalangu and Baga Beach. This is one long stretch of sand lined with endless vibrant beach shacks offering food, drink and free Wi-Fi. These are busy beaches bustling with tourists. For the more thrill-seeking visitors, water sports are in abundance here. Also meet the local canine community and the odd sunbathing cow. Heading north, Morgan and Ashram beaches offer a quieter, more relaxing beach vibe, albeit slightly more expensive. Morgan Beach is famous for the nesting olive ridley turtles. It's also much easier to find accommodation right on the beach here, and we've decided on our next visit that that is a must. Don't fear the food. We ate like kings here. We tried many new foods. It's all very cheap, and the average price of a meal for the two of us, plus a drink each, was about 700 to 800 rupees. We did not have a bad meal in Goa, and we didn't have any deli belly either. Alcohol here isn't expensive either. Our go-to was a sweet lime soda, which was 50 rupees. We indulge ourselves with many fresh fish dishes. Knowing just how fresh it was after watching the fishing boat come in on Kalangoot Beach. We really enjoyed shopping at the Goan markets. Bartering and haggling is an art form and you must be prepared. Unless the price is printed on the item, you are expected to haggle. The general idea is to ask the price, and you, the buyer, drop down to a third of the price. Then meet somewhere in the middle if you can hack it. If you're not happy with the price, walk away. Often they will call you back to make the deal. Handshakes often seal the deal. Sunsets are a must see on the beach with a cold beer in hand. Although Goa has a higher quality of life than the rest of India, you still see poverty in the form of begging on the streets and beaches. We visited in January 2018. The climate here was hot with an average of 30 degrees in the day. It stays in the high 20s, low 30s throughout the year. Night times it drops a little into the low 20s, but our hotel aircon worked fantastically. We really enjoyed our holiday to Goa and we'll definitely be returning, but for much longer next time. We are really keen to see the south of Goa, which is said to be quieter, more relaxing and a bit more scenic. It's really hard to condense our going adventure down into one short video, with all the sights, sounds and tastes, but we hope you've had a small glimpse of what it has to offer. Tourism brings a huge amount of money into the region and it's heavily relied on. This is a contributing factor to their hospitality and welcoming attitude. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to see more of our adventures, maybe not as exotic as this one. Comment to get in touch and visit our social medias for more info, photos and adventures. See you next time. Thank you for watching.